going on YouTube? I'm gonna give you guys a room tour of my new crib here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Been previously staying at the uh, 700 Stadium up north. Now I'm in the city for reals. This is it. Floating bed. Not quite, but almost. Uh, probably gonna get a little uh, yoga mat. Put down right there. Sleep legit. But this is really nice just to hang out on. Get some work done on. Just like the, the crash pad, the carpet. Um, here we've got all the, not all the, but a lot of the electronics. Headphones, iPhone charger, MacBook. MacBook charger. Let's go baby, there we go. And uh, G7X power pack. So right there, that's like the electronic hub. And then get some nice uh, walls right there. They slide, clothes go in there. And the fruit stash, baby fruit stash, just arrived yesterday. So I quickly went to the market, got some coconuts, papayas, dragon fruit. These dragon fruits were 900 baht, these were 170 baht. These were like 25, 30 baht each per banana hand. These coconuts were like 200 baht for a 10. Um, but there's 20 there, or like 17 left. Cucumbers, made some noodles last night, put in the bowl here, a friend come over. We uh, just ate noodles like raw vegan would eat a nice gourmet meal. Um, use the blender to blend up the sauce. Put some avocado in that sauce, put some papaya in the sauce, put some coconut meat in the sauce. And uh, also put some little chives in the sauce. Don't usually eat these things, but they make for a nice sauce. So put those in the sauce as well. Some sugar cane here. I didn't put any sugar cane in the sauce, but sugar cane's great if you like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I don't drink a lot of it. I just thought it was a nice little uh, homecoming gift, so got that for like celebratory purposes. Here's the leftover sauce. Probably should have rinsed out the blender last night, but it's pretty late, so just threw it in the fridge. It's gonna be good though. And uh, cleanup's really easy. Just rinse it out with water. We got in the fridge here some more papaya, cut up pre-cut up papaya. These things are like a dollar for a little pack right there. And uh, some cucumbers, yeah, already spiralized cucumbers. So the way I make noodles is I just use this little noodler. I just ch -ch 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 -ch, and it makes noodles really easy, just like that. Um, so. I got a little view here for you guys. You want to see the view? Let's check out the view. Pretty nice view. Oh, we'll show you this for sure. First off, look at the balcony. Got our own little private balcony, coconut cutting workshop right there, factory. And uh, rinsing technology right there. Works. Here's the view. Cool little peaceful car compound. Nice tree, I'm not sure what kind of tree that is, but it's good vibes. And uh, I can view bits of the city here, off in the distance, if I start on this thing. Get that, get sunrise coming up. Oh, that is just gorgeous, right there. So sunrise comes up, I can be chilling. Do some meditation right there, while the sun, <laughs> Empowers me, powers me up. A uh, little cocoa spot right here, cocoa sanctuary for the coconuts that have been opened. Um, and then the washroom. Washroom's pretty legit. Got running water, toiletries, minimalist toothbrush. Doesn't take up any space. Folds right up. Some uh, vegan floss. Focus, baby. Vegan floss. These ones courtesy of Mike Arnstein. He loves these things. Little uh, Dentec complete, complete clean floss picks. Those are great. And the toilet and shower, all in one, man. It's pretty cool. It keeps everything really clean. Um, 
But when you're showering, I mean, it's kind of good to do that when you shower. That way it doesn't get all the shower stuff all over the seat. But if you want to clean anything really easy, just... These things also make for a nice clean butt. We've done using the toilet, cleanest butts in Thailand for sure, man. If you use one of those things, don't use these for your butt. Use these for like cleaning stuff up around the house. Um, yeah, definitely use the water, man. It's the way you go with the butt spray. And uh, the shower's really legit, man. There's a little step down right there so the water doesn't leak over the edge. And uh, I do, like I washed like some uh, lettuce and cucumbers and stuff in here last night. Just put the bowl down right there, but I could have also done it out here. So, got choices, got options. So that's it, that's all guys, a little room tour here. This thing's costing about $15 US per night, but that's all you need. Oh, I also didn't show you the uh, TV. I was playing some music last night, turned on the TV and was watching uh, Meet the Parents. Not Meet the Fockers, but Meet the Parents. And uh, while I was listening to my music, just having that in the background, it was so cool. I've never really done that before. I kind of enjoyed it. It's just like, you like get to see like your favorite actors, actresses, and like how the scenes are shot and stuff while you're just uh, chilling, making dinner, hanging out in your house, hanging out in your room. Might as well show you the little wardrobe here. I didn't get too many hooks, but I got like four hooks. So I put some shorts on those ones, a t-shirt on that, a jacket on that, another shirt on that, and then uh, backpacks empty, sweatpants for cold mornings. Extra towels there that came with the room. And then the rest of my clothes. Oh, I've got some paper, brainstorm, some stuff on paper. It's good to get your thoughts out on paper for sure. Took the phone that was over there and just put it over here because I don't need that. Obviously, you don't need that, so I put that there as well. All the default stuff I just cram in there. Um, and some clothes. I'm going to hang those for sure, but I need more hangers. A pair of pants right there. And then uh, some drawers, extra drawers, don't need them. This pen goes with the goal setting paper. Dude, seriously, change your life. You take this to this, boom! Pure potential on those pure papers, man. We got the drawers here, got some money. You know, we got some, uh, oh, some already previously written down goals right there. That's pretty cool. Electronics, an extra spoon, man. Friend brought one of these over to me last time he came to Thailand. You see the Summit spoons, the best spoons in the world. I've been using the exact same spoon forever. Can't freaking focus, but there we go. Seed to Summit, the best spoon in the world, man. I've been using mine forever, for like two and a half years now. Look at it. Guess what it looks like after all that use. The amount of coconuts I've scraped, baby. Oh man, hundreds, hundreds, thousands. Literally thousands of coconuts this thing has scraped. Hasn't broke, hasn't snapped. The amount of watermelons I've had with it, melons, cantaloupes, everything. This spoon is my baby. And uh, I got a backup because the reason this got brought over to me is because I asked for it. Because I left this accidentally at a restaurant. And then like a few weeks later, my friend, other friend went back to the restaurant and got it for me. So Thailand, man, they really, um, they really value ownership of things. They really value like people's uh, property and possessions. So, they won't just throw something out if you lose it, they'll typically keep it. But anyways, I got a backup here just in case. I probably don't need it here, I can put it in like my backpack or something. This is the case for the uh, machete thing. The coconut opener, which I might not need, but... Well, let's chuck it out then, man. Fucking minimalist right here. If you think you might not need it, chuck it out. Where's the garbage? Here's the garbage. All these just-in-case things, you know? I'm thinking that people have iPhone cases quote unquote, just in case. Well, the reason you drop your iPhone case is because you have a freaking case on it, man. If you didn't have a case on it, you wouldn't drop your iPhone. I'd never drop my iPhone more than a few centimeters off the ground. So it doesn't have a case on it. So I'm not gonna drop it. Um, but if you had a case on it, then you don't care if you drop it as much. But anyways, oh, a little charging station right here for the razor. Nice, tight, clean shave with that puppy. And then some of the new uh, Aperihana Zero Shoes. Really dope shoes, man, if they fit your feet. They don't, have half, they don't have half sizes yet. So, for people with weird 
sized feet like me. Um, the toe box can be a little long or a little short depending on the size, but if you have like regular sized feet, then uh, they're probably perfect for you. I love the wide base of the shoe. Excellent shoe. Super lightweight, super minimal. All right, crew, that's it. Peace out, thanks for watching. Oh, that sun is up, baby, that sun is up. I'm being solar powered right now. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, peace out. Oh, and for all the people saying, oh my God, plastic bag this, plastic bag that. Reuse them, man. Grab them and reuse them. This trash can can be reused a few times. You know, put stuff in there, then dump it out, put stuff in there, dump it out. Same with this stuff. Put stuff in here and just dump it out. Anyways, reuse, recycle.